the new calendar app. That is what this video is about. My name is Paul Kaisers. I'm uh, a Microsoft MVP and I help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot. So that's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything about the new calendar. Uh, first, let's jump into it. We, we've got here our default calendar, you may know. It's really uh, not having a lot of information. Uh, it's only about you. And now we will jump to the new calendar view. And this is the new calendar view. And this is way more like Outlook. So first look at, we will look at the points that are available at this moment because I have the feeling it's not finished yet. So there are some things that I really want to see uh, happening in uh, in this new calendar view. So let's first go to uh, to the items. So what you see is on the left hand side you got your calendars uh, so I can select for example Debbie and I can see her calendar in the overlay this is awesome because we missed this uh, a long time in teams so we don't need to switch back to outlook for that um, there are some things you need to do um, but uh, let's continue on this so we have our people we have the groups well i don't know if you use groups i don't uh, at least no groups calendars we've got here our calendar um, let's see and uh, we are uh, seeing today, so that's the 27th uh, of December. And here we have our filtering. We can say, okay, which uh, uh, day if we want to have a split view. So let's do a split view. We see the calendar of uh, Debbie on the right hand side, my own calendar on the left hand side. I'm not going to uh, do this. We can change the time scale to. Uh, 16 minutes 30 minutes five minute slots and uh, we can save the current view so that if you come back it will still stay still be the same view then uh, we can view and filter and this is something that is really awesome because we uh, i haven't seen it in outlook maybe you have but i haven't seen it so this is already one thing you don't have in outlook which i think is really uh, cool because if I skip this appointment, you will see that uh, Debbie has an appointment and not a meeting. Uh, and the meeting is like online um, uh, with other participants. So it gives you some more insights. And you can also uh, do it on categories uh, where people say, uh, f where you say free uh, working elsewhere attentive, if it's recurrent or not and if it's in person or not. So that's that's a quite nice filtering directly. Uh, if we click on the three dots, which means in Teams you have always three dots and you have more menus, you can share the calendar with somebody else. So I can click on here and it will say who uh, I can share it with. So this r works really well. Uh, and maybe because I'm an admin, I see some more, but uh, we can print our calendar. Yes, it's still possible. And we can go to calendar settings. Now in the calendar settings, we have the possibility to say uh, which day start, which time zone. Uh, I'm in this time zone. Uh, and if I want to add global calendars, then I can select the events and uh, invitations. Here we see events you create, uh, customize, add online meetings to all. So every uh, meeting has a, a Teams meeting. Uh, default reminder, I can change that. So that's also something that is really nice because sometimes you don't, or sometimes maybe you want to have no reminders or just an hour before or even less. Um, shortened duration. So this is something that if uh, something, uh, if you have a meeting that you will have uh, like five minutes in a half an hour or 10 minutes for a longer hour. So that's um, especially when you have, uh, for example, back to back meetings. Uh, I would really recommend everybody to use this 
uh, it makes you more efficient, gives you more time. Uh, at, for example, in, at Microsoft, most of the meetings start 10 past the uh, hour uh, because then they have 10 minutes, even with the shorten. Then we've got uh, um, the how the invitation responses and notifications are handled. So here you can see delete invitations that have been updated, delete notifications, forward, uh, delete invitations from inbox. So this is really something that we have um, uh, in Outlook as well, but it's really nice that it's in Teams. So we can also say uh, show this lined uh, calendar events. I'm not going to do that. Um, then we've got weather. We can say uh, the locations, uh, Milagros, Portugal, um, then uh, events uh, from a mail. Uh, so you get an email, only show event summaries, show event summaries on. Uh, so here you got some default ones um, and mark events as, pri as private on my calendar. So I only I can see them. So here you can select uh, what you want. So. Then we've got shared calendars. Here we see uh, my shared calendars and also a way to publish this uh, calendar to everyone. Another one is book with me. And this brings you to the book with me. Uh, that's a different video. I'm not going to go into detail there. Um, the work hours here you say, uh, can say uh, which hours you work, uh, no location. Well. Let's make it remote. That's fine. Uh, show work location on my calendar. So everybody as my colleague knows what I'm doing. Uh, people in my organization can view all details, uh, can view any location, uh, can view general location. So in my case, I'm fine with all details and I'm going to save this. So this is what you can set on the calendar. Then we've got the meet now button and a join with an ID. It are, uh, I made a separate video on join with an ID and uh, meet now is like a start a meeting right now, right away. And you can invite people. I always use this meet now button to, um, how do you say that? Uh, I use it for uh, calibrating my sound system, my camera before I go into a meeting because I have a lot of stuff here and every time I go into a meeting, I want to be sure that everything is set up correct. So I start off with the, in the morning with the meet now with myself to adjust the settings. Then uh, we've got the new event and the drop down and here you have some settings to um, do a new event a channel meeting or a webinar these are still similar to the ones we had so i'm going to click on event and what we see here is uh, that we've got an outlook like uh, event uh, item so here i can say okay demo uh, calendar and I can invite some people. So for example, Debbie and um, well, I can select the, the default calendars uh, at agenda. Yes, let's do that. It adds a loop topic to the, to the uh, calendar, to the meeting. I've got my meeting options. So here I can set up the meeting options. I'm not going to do, go in detail here because that's something else to discuss. Response options. Uh, we've got busy, which uh, what you are. How long ago, uh, before the meeting starts should be a reminder. And a sensitivity, if you have sensitivity set up. Uh, categorize and make it private or not. So, and then we've got, of course, the three dots where we can select multiple apps. So I'm going to send this and I also have the uh, save as draft, but I'm going to uh, send it. Now there's one thing that is not possible in this new meeting and that's something or new calendar. And that's something I really feel like it's a, 
it's a loss of functionality uh, which may even cause you to stay in the old calendar view um, that's when you normally did this uh, with the Teams invite, you had the possibility to set up uh, apps. So here I'm going to edit the item. And what you see here is that I just get my invite exactly the same, but I do not have any way to set up apps before my meeting. And this is something that I think is crucial for a lot of people because you want to set up a poll before or set up your breakout rooms, all that kind of stuff. You have to do it. You can do it, but you have to do it a different way uh, in the new calendar feed. So in the new calendar, you have to join the meeting and I'm going to... Uh, um, I'm not going to do that, but if you join the meeting, then you can add the apps to it. So that would mean that uh, if you have done that, you can click the plus sign and add it. But this means that you have to set it up before inviting anyone, because else they will already have the notifications. Well, so that's something that is uh, really important uh, to know. And what I also saw, uh, which I don't like so much is that I cannot select anyone here uh, to be added. So I cannot say right click, uh, I can only say new public, a new calendar a group, but I cannot say uh, add uh, a shared calendar, for example. We still have to do that in Outlook. So that's something that is also that I'm missing at this moment. So here we go to the uh, calendar view. This is really nice because we can go to 25 and select dates. It makes it easier. So just to show you what I missed in the uh, in the uh, new old calendar or new calendar um, is this. Let's go back one more time. I'm gonna skip this feedback, and now I'm going to edit this one. And what you see is that I can set up my scheduled assistant recap uh, breakout rooms. I can already set that up. Um, I can add apps. So this kind of stuff is not available right now. I think it's coming, but it will take some time. All by all, my conclusion is that this new Teams calendar app is great for most of the people and will definitely help you be more productive. So if you like this video, like it and share it with your colleagues. And uh, if you want to know more about Teams, you can click over here and see you next time.